Hello there, wonderful people of the world. Welcome back to Harmonious Language. I'm Pierce. Now today I wanted to update y'all on what's been going on with Hungarian because it's been three days that I've been studying Hungarian, which I know is not a lot, but I have been doing a heck ton of grammar. Um, so first thing I did, I actually went to Wikipedia and was studying the IPA, the International Phonetic Alphabet, and seeing what sounds actually show up in Hungarian. For me, it is very important to be able to read the language as soon as you start, because that way it's a lot easier to associate the written language and the spoken language. I realize for other people who are more conversationally driven, this doesn't make sense, but I'm much more of a grammar-oriented kind of guy. The only sound that was particularly difficult to me was the GY sound, the du, du, uh, the which is actually in the name of the language, unfortunately, Magyar Um But besides that, I thought it was pretty okay. Um, interesting spelling choices, obviously. It took a little bit of time to get used to, but I eventually got accustomed to it. And after that, I actually read through this. Now, let me explain what I mean by reading through this. I use teach yourself in a different way than a lot of people do um, because I use it almost exclusively for the grammar. So I don't really like the dialogues in the beginning of these books and I have a hard time listening to them. And also a lot of the practice problems get so repetitive and boring that I mostly stick to the grammar concepts here. And so what I did, I wrote down every single grammar concept in the book, copying down all the conjugations and everything um, to be able to have a good sense of how the language works, how the nouns work, how the verbs work, how the adjectives work, and the general syntax structure of the language. I really want to have a good sense of how the words work together, so that way when I learn new vocabulary, I can kind of just fill it into those slots. Um, I realize that doesn't work for everyone, and there's a very prescriptivist approach and a very purist approach to language learning, but it really works for me, so that's what I do. Um, but yeah, so I ate through this book in about three days, and I took notes of vocabulary that I thought were important to being able to understand the grammar, but besides that, I don't know too many actual Hungarian words. For that reason, I decided to start doing a memorized course on A1 uh, Hungarian. A1, of course, is based on the European common ref... Euro <laughs> this. Um... <laughs> Um, but I decided to do an A1 course on that just to have a good sense of the vocabulary. Once I have a good understanding of how the grammar of language works, and I start developing this vocabulary, that's when I think Duolingo is a good tool. I personally don't think Duolingo is a great tool for learning a language. I think it is a really good one for reviewing and doing practice sentences with, just because of the repetitive nature of a lot of it, and that they don't explain how the sentences work terribly well especially with a language with as much demanding grammar as Hungarian. Um, a couple things. What I did like about this Teach Yourself book is uh, it explained the case system very well. It talked about sets of endings that go really well together in the hol, hova, and honnan endings, which is the, there, there are kind of corresponding cases for where, from where, and to where that they kind of come in these sets, uh, and explain that really well. I thought that was really good. My main problems with this book, however, came from the fact that I didn't learn how possessives in Hungarian worked until maybe the second to last chapter. Now, that being said, it did cover it, so I can't really blame it for putting it off to the end, and it was complicated enough that I understand why. However, I was wondering for so long how I'm supposed to just say, my name, or my sister, or something like that, because I was able to conjugate in every single tense before I was able to do possessives, and I thought that was kind of ridiculous. Besides that, though, it was a really good book. And I also don't know if it's changed in the complete Hungarian or anything like that, so let me know if you have that one. Um, but definitely we'll be going back to this. I think a lot of the practice, pro practice uh, sentences were good in here. Um, and once I have a stronger sense of vocabulary, and I might use this for vocabulary, uh, I'll come back to this. So yeah. Um, also, I have ordered some books from Hungary, which are from a language publisher that I actually really like. Um, and once they get here, I'll have to show them to y'all because they're really good language books.
And so that's pretty much where my Hungarian learning has been. I'll keep you updated and see what changes. Anyways, Kisunum Visontla Tashra.